I believe in things that make me strong. And someone goes, well, you're wrong. Listen, let's assume, let's assume you're correct and that makes me wrong. Let's say that you're right and you're depressed. Why would I want to adopt the thinking of a man who is sad? Why would I want to think like you? Wouldn't it better to be wrong and be happy and have a sports car and a yacht and a, and a private jet? You want to talk about right? Look at your life. My, I, don't talk about right and wrong. Let's talk about success and results. Yeah. I don't believe in things that take power from me. I never have. So when people email me and they start saying, I'm depressed, I'm depressed, I'm depressed. And what's funny is this. I talk to them and they desperately defend the idea of depression. I'm like, my friend, you just told me you're too depressed to be successful and depression has destroyed your life and you lost your girl. I'm telling you that enemy, the enemy in your life isn't real. And you're now sending me 10 emails a week trying to convince me that your enemy is a real thing. Why are you sticking up for your enemy? This person, whatever it is, this idea destroyed you and you're putting your energy into defending it. You should be on my team. Whose team are you on here? You want to sit here and convince me? I'm never going to believe you. I'm never going to adopt your thinking because your life is not yeah. successful enough for me to emulate. So why don't you try to adopt my way of thinking? Stop defending this. And they're defending it because it's a cure-all excuse. Depression or sadness is a cure-all excuse for men to use for failure. I have failed. This is why when they say I don't believe in men's mental health or the man, the man who's depressed can't compete with the man who's not depressed. Yeah. This, this quote. I say, listen, you get to roll out be fat, be out of shape, be broke, be unimportant with no girlfriend. And instead of the world thinking you're a loser, you get to say, I'm not a loser. I'm depressed. It's a shield. Yeah. And I say, that's why you don't want to lose your shield. Because now you have accountability. Yeah. Now you have performance to cop out. Fuck it off. I don't give a shit if it's real or not. We're not about that. We're talking about success here. Get rid of your excuses. Stop defending the thing that's ruined your life and get to fucking work. And every time anyone has ever listened to me in history, ever, Every single one of them's transformed their lives and messaged me positive messages afterwards. Every single fucking time. That's why I'm I'm anti antidepressant because that pill ain't gonna fix you the way becoming the man you wish you were is gonna fix you. It, it's it's crazy. And then they're gonna take one little sound bite. Tate doesn't care about men's mental health. He thinks depressed people is or that it's some bullshit. And they're gonna apply it to me. I really do believe, and I state this almost with a degree of achievement. I'm the most misunderstood man on the planet. <laughs> I, I really believe I am. It's crazy the level people, there are people out there who truly believe I am evil. And I'm, and I'm, I'm, nothing, I'm, not, I'm nothing close to it. I'm one of the most compassionate people you could possibly meet. Can I give you two takeaways just for people that are like, oh, Andrew Tan? Here's what I've heard from you so far. Personal responsibility, straight up, all right? And then number two, positive affirmation. I don't want negativity in my life. I don't want depression around me. I don't want weakness around me. Right. I want to be the best person I can be and take full responsibility for that. Right. Those are the two things I'm, I'm, I'm hearing. We'll go on further.